To have the experience of sharing my story was just incredible. It's a gift because I, I keep it every day and I want to give it away because I know it's a gift to help people and to serve people. So it's just good to give it away. If I had to describe the feeling, it's just, I call it my melody. I can feel my heart. You know, when you run or you are doing something that excites you and you can feel your heart inside, that, that is what that was. I, I can feel my heart and to me, when I can feel my heart, it reminds me of the, the best story of my life. When I think of what mastery means to me, it, it means going beyond intellectual knowledge to a heart knowledge. And then even beyond that to an empathy that it's not just mine. It's being able to master not only the inside, but to master uh, my ability to be there for others. So it's an internal and external combination of, of, of mastery. My biggest growth breakthrough has been that there's beauty in endings. I came into this program struggling with um, my father passing away suddenly. And what I've come to learn is that to not also enjoy the ending is to dismiss the journey. And so the, the ability to, to find the joy in the end allows me to live so much, um, gosh, just fully now. I consistently invest in growth because it allows me to show up for what matters the most in my life um, in a healthy way, in a sane way, <laughs> you know, because at, the more that I expand in terms of my growth, then I respond to my husband, my mother, and the people I love, my church. It allows me to bring a better me back to what I know I'm sent here to do. So with, it's just a, a requirement. I can't imagine not doing it. The way that I know that I'm growing is my peace. I can encounter, you know, go against this, the same situation and respond in a totally different way. And when I see that in myself, that's the first way that I know that I'm growing is that my peace around something that used to drive me nuts. And then the other way that I see it is the way the people I love respond to me. I totally judge my life by the love that I pour into others. And when they see it as love and not my going crazy, I know that that is growth. When I think of the impact my growth has had on others, my mother is the biggest person. When she quotes what I've told her that focus, therefore, you know, Cleidra, you know, focus, what you focus on, you find, what you focus on grows. And I hear my mother saying back to me what was in one of the modules. I'm like, yes, because she would never come to this, but she trusts me. And so I'm able to touch people who may think this is weird, but they believe me. So I'm able to touch them through that. So that's what I love the most about this. So I am so grateful to see all of you. And I want to take you to a time with the most amazing melody in my life. The most amazing melody is a melody that you don't just hear. It's a melody you feel. It's a melody you sense with every sense that God has given us. And that's the melody I was in. The melody that I wanted to have a picture of, it was so beautiful. For the first 37 years of my life, it was all about a checklist. The college that I wanted to get in, check. The corporate job I wanted to land, check. The man who had the resume with the life that I had completely planned, check. The dream house, check. And so the melody for me, was the box that I wanted to check more than anything in my life, and that was the box to become a mother. Because I have an amazing mother. She has an amazing mother. She had an amazing mother. You're keeping track, that's the great grandmother. That's how many mothers I have known. So to be in this room on the day that I'm hearing the melody of my little boy's heart is the best and for those of you who are mothers, there's nothing like seeing life inside of your body. And that something is a melody that I'll never forget. The something is the melody that expanded me and changed me forever. So the day after Mother's Day, I went in because I had finally made it to my fourth semester, trimester. And you know, if you don't know, that's like the, you made it. You made it. I was already eating for the, the son I was carrying and the two I was thinking about. So I was really excited to go in on this day after Mother's Day to hear my melody. And I went in waiting for my melody. Silence was so loud, I 
wrong? Where is my mother? And I heard this sense that changed my life. Always be. 
stretch your story. And so my gift to you is to not only take those three lessons that you do with the melody. I mean, don't you guys feel the melody? I can tell you, you being here, I feel my heart. When I help you all, I feel my heart, and that's how I knew. I already knew before that I was in line, so that's how I knew. <laughs> but it was confirmation because I feel the melody with all of you. And I got, it. like we all did, the gift of life for another day, the breath that we didn't plan for another day. And so rewrite your story tomorrow. I tried to get it for today. I was trying to send books for all of you, but it'll be free. To download tomorrow, you can get all of the steps that I use to rewrite my story totally free. And to download, you know, what I just tried to unpack in this time.